Hello everybody and welcome back to our House of Bolton Let's Play here on Crusader Kings 2 A Game of Thrones. I don't know why I always zoom out at the start. The Crusader Kings 2. I don't know why that's necessary at all. Now, if you didn't watch last episode, again, I always say this, but definitely go back and watch it because some very interesting things have been happening on this playthrough. So we are now playing as Ramsay Bolton, where our father Roos unfortunately died of severe stress at the ripe old age of 65, had a nice long life. Got through three wives as well, which is quite impressive to be honest. Uh, so we are now playing as Ramsay, but as you see in the top there, if you have a look, it says King Ramsay of the North. We are married to Lady Paramount Alice the Candid of the North, a car stark. Now again, if you haven't been watching this series, we actually managed to kill off the last uh, Stark who was sat on the throne, which meant the throne passed to the car Starks here. And Alice, we again, through uh, absolutely no fault of our own, definitely not, you know, murder and, and death and mayhem, uh, Lady Paramount Alice became Lady of the North uh, after we killed her father, I think, as well. We killed a lot of people, I'm going to be honest. But, but, you know, it's been interesting, but there's been a lot of murder on the way to the top here, as the Boltons you'd expect. I've also noticed she's 560 <laughs> coins in debt, which is quite impressive, to be fair. Um, but yes, she is now Lord Lady Paramount of the North, but her heir is our son, Wayne Bolton, who is a Bolton, so... Essentially what's going to happen is that when Ramsay dies, when Alice dies, we will be playing as Wayne Bolton, who will be Lord of the North. Which is quite impressive, to be honest, that in three generations we'll have gone from the Dreadfort to the North. You know, okay, you know, they managed it a bit quicker than us, but they had advantages of walls and such things. So, we've actually done really well to get in this position. Now, at the moment, we do have a few problems. We don't quite have the skills to manage more than one uh, sort of plot of land. So basically we have the Dreadfort and Ethering as well. So uh, we're only supposed to have one, uh, you know, set settlement piece of land to ourselves basically. So maybe we could do with giving away Ethering, but at the same time I kind of want to keep it for ourselves. I feel like Ramsay wouldn't want to part with the land that his father gave him. You know, in this playthrough I think there's been a good relationship actually between um, Ramsay and Roos, rather than in the shows and the books where there's a very aggressive relationship. I think Ramsay's quite uh, thankful to his father for all he did. Uh, we are, of course, arranging his funeral. We are leading troops in the Dawn Forest. Uh, fair enough. Not quite sure what we're fighting here. She is fighting uh, Lady Beth of Winterfell. War for Duncan's claim on the... Oh, don't say she's going to lose the North. That'd be really annoying. So they're trying to put... I'm trying to figure out who they're trying to put on the throne. Um, let's have a look at the... No one accepted my invitation to cruising. One person makes no fee, so I'll have to postpone it for later. Uh, apparently no one wants to turn up to the... to the funeral. Is that it? Did no one want to attend Roos's funeral? Uh, my liege Lady Paramount Alice owes me gold. The House Bolton has lent it. Um, I shall delay the payment, because it's my wife. Uh, since my amorous adventures result in a child, Little Pallor is my spitting... Ramsey, what have you been doing when I've not been playing? Um, so who was the mother? Um, Sarah, just a courtier. I'm going to denounce the child. I don't want any problems between me and my wife. Uh, but I feel like there are already going to be problems. Uh, yeah, a couple of problems. Um, the best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. We will spend lavishly. It is the funeral of my father, and I feel like, again, Ramsay would want this to be a special occasion. Maester of Coyd, Bannon has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests would be staying would have to be prepared, or else he couldn't guarantee the guest's safety. It would be rather costly, but Bannon assures me the repairs would be worth the cost. Uh, I'll repair it. I don't want my castle falling down on our guest. I'm also ill, which is a bit annoying. Worrying thing here is if I end up playing as Wayne a bit earlier on. Because there could be the potential for someone trying to kill us off. So the guests have arrived for the funeral. We're going to let them uh, join us. Fire blasted right past my face and I felt how my hair started to curl away from the fire. The fire eater had been a bit too careless for my taste but his troop and he was clearly greatly skilled. Uh, so we can invite them to our uh, feast or say they're too dangerous. We're going to invite them. Maybe they'll burn someone's face. That'll be an interesting result. Someone wants to kill us, I think, because it, we have the option to go into hiding, which usually means someone wants to kill... No? Okay, fair enough. Um... I'm just trying to figure out who's claimed this. Oh, I could just click down here, couldn't I? Uh, trying to put Duncan Stark, the son of Dudley Storer and Arya of the North, on the throne. Can we do anything? We could try and 
assassinate him, but at the same time, I don't feel like that's necessary. We are winning the war, uh, but I don't see where our armies are. We don't. I, th I know there's one there in the Dawn Forest, but their army's down there, so why aren't we finishing them off? Oh yeah, other things that have happened. Aegon is king on the Iron Throne, uh, which is useful. His heir is currently a Baelish. Wow, okay, that's not what we want. Someone change that, please. Someone change that quickly. I don't want a Baelish on the throne. Um, who was he married to? Queen Doria San. Surely they're going to have a child at some point. Come on. Get a child. I don't want a Baelish on the throne. That sounds... I mean, a Baelish on the throne and a Bolton in the north. That seems like a dangerous combination. Uh, Master Alaric spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given how hard I'd worked to ensure the food was the best part of the feast. That was well spoken, thank you. So we improve our relationship with him. You committed much gold to this extravagant feast, in particular the guest who impressed with a large centrepiece on the day's table. It represented a green lawn surrounded with large peacock feathers and green branches to which were tied violets and other sweet-smelling flowers. In the middle of this, a fortress was placed, covered with silver. The fortress was hollow and formed a sort of cage in which several live birds were shut up, their tufts and feet being gilt. On his tower, which was gilt, the banners of House Bolton was placed. Seems like a very strange centrepiece. I'd just accepted some food, to be honest, but... There you go. So we've had the funeral now. Lots of people attended. Um... And we gain some piety and some prestige, which is always... Our piety is minus 448. That's ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, what do you expect? He's a lunatic. He's stressed. He likes torturing peasants. He's going to have a low... My wife is in prison. What has just happened? Why is my wife in prison? Can we ransom her? No. Huh. Why, why is she in prison? Ah, that's bad. I don't want her in prison. We might end up losing this war. Can we rescue her? Low percentage, to be honest. It might be even just easier to kill Duncan Stark, to be honest. So we're going to give it a go, see if we can manage to finish him off. The less Starks in the world for us, the better. Will anyone help? Royce, Spymaster of Winterfell, 118%. So we're going to give him some money to join us. And also Illin, Maester of Winterfell, will be useful. Having them in our charge will be useful anyway. Why am I now known as the Frog? Why am I the Frog? Lord Ramsay the Frog, what does that mean? Uh, your ward, Barbers, always follows the rules and refuses to cheat when playing games with older children. She built become a woman of honour. That's a good point, actually. Who is... Who is tutoring Wayne Bolton? Me, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm a decent tutor, I guess. Although it doesn't actually say I am. Um, I kind of want him to be good at command, although he's not been educated at all. So, I don't think we've actually sorted his sort of tutorship out. So we'll leave it for now. Is there anyone... Any good matches we can find? Preferably... Ah, Lady of the Reach. That might be a... We'll go straight for it, actually. Lady of the Reach. Uh, the more allies we have, the better. Edric Bolton is an illegitimate son of ours. Can we marry him off? Uh, match leanly to anyone. Just to sort of get him out of the way, essentially. Uh, are there any good ones? The one in Dragonstone... There is my half... I'm not going to marry him to my half-sister. That's just weird. Um, we'll leave that for now. We'll sort that later, I think. So, who else do we have? We have quite a few siblings, actually. Our father did leave quite a few siblings. We need another bodyguard. Four and four. We'll have Roger as our bodyguard. Good old Roger. Um, so we've managed to get that alliance between... Well, possible alliance between us and the Reach, which would be a nice alliance to have. Uh, my co-conspirator Royce has let me know that Duncan Stark will soon have a tragic fall off the castle parapets. That'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Uh, we're actually going to have a look at who has a claim on the north. See if we can start to sort of dwindle the list down a little bit, I guess. Uh, wow, okay, quite a few people, which is a bit annoying. Duncan Stark has died, though, so that war is now over, which is useful. My wife is still in prison, which I'm not quite sure why. Someone wants to give Kira the Dreadfort. And my half-brother now needs a tutor as well. Uh, we'll see if there's... I mean, we could keep him in the north, but I want to kind of give him the best possible education. Particularly a military education. We'll see if there's anyone who's better at it. A formidable fighter would be useful. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to find anyone like that. Let's have a look just in the north instead. Oh, that's not just in the north. Let's just see who we have that can educate him. Find our best warrior. 
Martin Chandler is apparently our best. Not really what I'm looking for. So we'll, we'll go back to try and find someone. I mean, Randall Tarley has 31 Marshall. Not too bad. We'll send him to... to um, uh, where is it? Educate Child. There it is. We'll send him off down south. Keeps him out of trouble as well. Keeps him from... Ah, okay. For some reason... Ah, does he already have two people being tutored by him? Yeah, okay. He already has two. As uh, so we have Roderick. Ah, Roderick. He's a formidable fighter. Quickly. Educate my son, please. Uh, my half-brother, even. I think that was Roderick, but we'll just make sure. There we go. Okay, so he's going to be learning with Roderick, which keeps him in the north. Make sure he doesn't change. Ah, okay. Randall died very suddenly. So, good thing I didn't send him off to be tutored by him. Would be looking for a new tutor already. Now, for some reason, some people want to give Kira the Dreadfall, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I mean, would, we would keep... Um, Ethering, but I kind of want to keep the High Lordship. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This kind of is almost like an intermittent stage before we move on to playing as Wayne Bolton and can sort of rule the North in his name. But for, we're, again, we're in this really weird situation like we were with Ramsay where we're just waiting for... Uh, with Rue, sorry, where we're waiting for Ramsay and Lady Alice to die. The falconer is expected to me as a new hunting bird has arrived and awaits my inspection. Um... I can tell him, just tell him I am busy, which gives us five prestige. I need to go hunting right now, which increases his relationship with us. Or Lady Lietta is unhappy that we say, is it bigger than a chicken? Uh, I will go hunting right now. Lord Paramount, Beslan of the Trident has... Ah! Oh, my wife died. Oh, that's unfortunate. So my son is now Lord Paramount of the North. So my son is now a higher lord than me. Uh, so I need to die, basically, is the weird thing right now. Uh, I need to die off quite quickly. What I'm going to do, and it's a bit of a strange one, I'm going to stop uh, stopping plots, basically. Because then if anyone does want to kill me, it's possible. So, he's declared war for the tyranny, which I presume is to do with Lady Paramount being beheaded. For no real reason, I don't know why she was arrested in the first place. But they are going to war against Aegon. It looks like a couple of people are joining in. Who is on his side? Who is against him? Um, Lord Paramount Bells from the Trident and the High Septon is attacking um, why is the High Septon against him? I guess he doesn't like the Targaryens maybe I don't know, we have a lot of things to sort here we need a new ambition we'll have the ambition to oh, what's he wanting us he wants us to be a spy master so we'll, we'll cheat a little bit and have our ambition to be Master of Whisperers and then accept that which instantly completes that ambition um Ah, the North is kind of split now, which is a bit annoying. I presume some people are fighting against, and some people are fighting for, and some people just aren't taking part in the battle. So, it's a little bit split in though. Who's his regent? Why aren't I the regent? Can we kill him? <laughs> That's a very, very harsh thing to say. Just, he's our, he's the regent, can we get rid of him? But we're going to try it, because it would be good to be his regent, so no one can kind of influence his decisions apart from us. So we'll give it a go. We're going to move our spy master into Winterfell, just to keep an eye on things. Uh, so we need another ambition now. We need, we want to gain an honorary title. I feel like that's a good one. Uh, Dara Bolton, my half sister, needs a tutor. She's good at stewardship. So who's our best steward? Uh, Zachary, our maester. He will, he's all right. Well, I'm not too bothered about my siblings and how their education goes. If I'm completely honest, we do need to get married, but I'm not sure how that might mess up who I play as. I mean, he should. No, he'll still be my firstborn. So he'll still be my heir. Uh, I can't get married. Oh, I'm widowed. Ah, oh, I did actually love Alice. That's unfortunate. Uh, although he's already lost the trait widowed, so that didn't go well. Time passes, yet to me the world seems unreal. It is life without Alice is but a mummer's farce. I am lost in the sea of loneliness and know not to where to turn. So I can drown myself in wine, women, and song, lose myself in books, songs, and wisdom of others, or I can move on with my life. So, top one, there's a chance to... Uh, become depressed, chance to become drunkard, gluttonous, gregarious, or fashionable. Um, or become wounded in a drunken quarrel. Lose ourselves in books. Uh, could become a maester, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I think I'll go with lose myself in books. I have become depressed. Well, that's what books does to do to you. Well, that is good because, again, we lose health now. So, in fact, hang on. There it is. There's the option. I thought it was there. Uh, I'm going to commit suicide. There we go. Right, so, welcome everyone to House Bolton, Lords of the North. We are now playing as Lord Paramount Wayne of the North. 
we have a uh, we haven't been educated yet which is a bit strange I'm not quite sure why we need to appoint some people to our court looks like we've got some good ones so far we'll make Halis Karstark our treasurer because he's got a good stat in that uh, Baron Karstark will be our master of whisperers and our maester shall be Zachary Frey so what do I want to be doing he's proselytizing I'm not quite sure why we want to I think have a spy network in King's Landing to kind of keep an eye on what's going on down there. We'll have a Winterfell, uh, Halis Karstark uh, gaining taxes or raising taxes in Winterfell. He is trying to improve relations in the Dreadfall. That's not really necessary, considering I still own it. He needs to train troops in Winterfell, Lord John Great John. Lord Oswin of Driftwood Hall will oversee the province of Winterfell. And I think I will try and increase our relations with the Vale. I feel like that's probably the best option. So we do have some other titles. We need some bodyguards. Who's our best fighters? Arnulf has a dual skill of 10. So we'll have him, because that is... Oops. Oh, I can't, because he's not, I'm not the... My regent needs to approve it. That's the problem, so I can't really do any of that. And Edric Bolton, my half-brother, needs to be educated by someone. Uh, so again, I'll look for my best warrior, who's Lord John. So we'll have him educating him now. We need to... Oh no, we are already engaged to uh, Lady Annette of the Reach. So we're going to set it playing. I will probably wrap this episode up about halfway through. Because it's going to be a while until we're old enough to really make decisions for ourselves. So our new heir is now Lyanna Bolton. So no matter what happens to us, we will have um, the B a Bolton on the throne of the north, basically. I'm just going to have a small private funeral for Ramsay. I don't feel like many people cared that much about him. And we'll try and find a husband for Lyanna Bolton. There's one in the... Ah, that gives us an alliance with the Trident. We're definitely doing that. I know he's a bit young. Actually, is there anyone else? Because he is quite young. Uh, no, he's still the best. We're going to have a marriage to a Frey, which I know is a horrifying thought, but gives us an alliance with the Trident. So we have an alliance, possible alliance with the Trident and with the Reach. Lord Paramount Wayne, the realm is in a state of war. And as such, I, as your Liege King, command that you provide men to support my armies. Well, you did kind of execute my mother, which I don't think was the nicest thing to do, if I'm honest. Now, we need to kind of think about this quite carefully. We have 12,000 men. He has 15,000 men. I don't know why I have men raised there. How many men do I have raised? Oh, just them. Okay. Uh, they're Special Avengers troops, which I don't quite know what they're doing. Um, I'm trying to figure out how, how things are going in the north. White Harbour is not under our rule for some reason. Whether he... Is he... Uh, he's defending against the Trident. So who, who is... It, what, I'm trying to figure this out. I think we're going to figure this out and then we'll wrap it up there because this is quite confusing. I want to make sure I get this decision right. Um, I'm trying to have a look. So Tyrion of the Westerlands is fighting with uh, Aegon Targaryen. But the Lord Paramount Belson of the Trident is um, fighting against... Aegon. He started the war to avenge the death of my mother and to end the tyranny of Aegon. But Aegon is winning by 6% and he does have more men and of course he has the Westerlands who have 38,000. I, I don't have the men to fight this war basically. I don't think I'll be able to make much of a difference. He doesn't have the men to fight this war either and I don't th I mean <sighs> we don't have an alliance with the Reach yet. Can we form an alliance? Um, no, my regent won't approve. Who is my regent? Baron, who's Baron? No idea. Um, trying to figure out how this is going to work. I think I will not concern myself for now, and I know that's kind of the cop-out answer. But ah, uh, so Wolf would have now decided to join in. Maybe I should have joined the war, but I just tried to sign an alliance with the Trident. I don't want to ruin that already. His heir is Tywin Lannister for some reason. I'm not quite sure how that works because he does have children, doesn't he? So who, who did I... I'm so confused right now. Uh, we're not involved in the war, though. I don't feel like I have the men. What level of ed education would you like to purchase for Lord Paramount? Well, I want to spend the most I can, obviously. It's going to put us in debt, but I feel like it's better to have good stats at the moment. And he did give us a martial education as well, which is what I wanted anyway. We need a guardian. I want the best warrior I can. I mean, we could go back for uh, Roderick Forrester. Was it Roderick Forrester? Yeah. 
because he was a formidable fighter, which is a skill I want to have. And he's probably still the best we have. Yeah, Roderick, Lord of Ironrath. Although he does have two heirs. Will he accept it anyway? Because I am... No, okay, he won't. He's, he's busy with his own tutorage. In fact, wasn't one of them my uncle? Can we not... Can we find someone else to tutor him? Uh, Alison of Bear Island. Sure, why not? We'll get that sorted, and then we'll try and be educated by Roderick, Lord of the North. Uh, Lord of the North? He's not Lord. I'm Lord of the North. Why won't he accept it? Or is my region blocking it? No, he doesn't want to be my educator for some... That's annoying. Uh, that's some of the... Actually, we'll just have a quick check to see... Because I want to have a good education. I want to have someone that's really going to increase our skills. So there is Alison of Bear Island, who is brave, kind, zealous, and family person. Uh, decent traits all around, but not the best. And she's only a trained fighter. Uh, Osric, Osric is a skilled fighter and a brilliant commander, but he's got very bad traits overall. Let's have another look to see who the best kind of warrior in the land is, basically. It is Drogon, who obviously can't educate me, funnily enough. Um, there's a raider there. I don't really want to be betrayed by a wildling. Uh, so Donald the Bloody Gate, maybe... Dario, is that Dario? Yeah, Dario Naharis. Brilliant commander, skilled fighter. Um, ah, we have John. John Umber. Let's go with John Umber. I think he's going to be... De he's only a trained fighter. Uh, actually, not the best, really. Uh, Victorian, maybe? Let's start with Victorian. I know it's a different sort of culture, which is a bit annoying, but... Uh, oh, is he not going to accept it either? Why does no one want to educate me? I'm going to have to just accept someone from my court to educate me, which is really annoying. Because I don't have the best, but I think Alison will do. Or maybe Osric. Do I have any knight? Martin's a knight, so we could have us as a squire in the knight. Let's go with Martin, actually. Courtier in the north. He can educate us and hopefully knight us at some point. Uh, which would be nice, because you don't usually get knighted in the north. People want to depose us already, which is really annoying. Who is trying to? Um... So, Deep Down has converted to the Old Gods, but that's fine, because we're in the North, and that's where they should be. So, uh, Lord John Greyjohn wants to depose me, as did, does Lord Theodric of Pineseed, Lady Lyanne of Breakstone Hill, and Lord Edgar of Overton. Let's send a gift... Oh, we can't send a gift, can we? We can give some honorary titles away, which might just sort of calm everyone down a little bit, if it will let us this time. Um, why do they all hate me? Well, they all hated my predecessor. A lot of them desire the High Lordship of the Dreadfort, and none of them like it because of the religion, the religious issue. High Almoner, I will make Lampard my... Lampard, even, not Lampard. Yeah, Frank Lampard will be my High Almoner. That's, that's what I was going with. Uh, give away a few titles. We do need another commander as well. Uh, Martin can be a commander as well. Why can't I appoint new bodyguards, though? So I can do everything else except bodyguards for some reason. Martin will be one of my bodyguards because he's tutoring me anyway. And Oln of Karstark will be my other bodyguard, so hopefully they can keep me safe a little bit. It's a bit annoying that everyone kind, of, kind of wants to get rid of me already. Uh, but we're going to have to deal with it. I will not concern myself for now. I don't want to get involved in this war. We're going to take these troops, which are just sat there for no reason, back into Winterfell, just in case we need to defend if they try to depose us at all. Uh, ah, the Reach wants to propose an alliance. I will definitely go with that. So we now have an alliance with the Reach, which is good news for us. Can we get one with the Trident? But then they might drag us into the war, so that's probably not a good idea, actually. Do they still want to depose? It's still 150% to, to depose me, so this may go wrong very quickly. We'll find out. Two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent, except their own. I'll accept the marriage. I don't really want to arrest people at this point. I need people to like me. Someone's trying to fabricate a... Lady, Lady Allison's trying to fabricate a claim on the North. The entirety of the North, which is a bit annoying. The less people fighting for the North, the better. I can't even, like, start any plots or anything. And I can't send any gifts because we're still in a lot of debt. And I think we have a loan as well. Yeah, we have a loan uh, taken. Uh, I can't pay you any money. I'm sorry, he's asking for money for being a loyal servant. I have no money to give. I have literally none. He's still asking me to join the war, which is... I don't know if these are different wars. Yeah, they must be. Um, 
but I don't know. I don't want to know. You know, I don't want to join this war, and then end up causing. Ah, we'll, def we'll join the war. We'll make him happy. We're not actually going to send any men down or anything. It's just a case of sending them down. We've lost two of our courtiers for some reason. Can we try and appease some people? If we give Ofgar being Hand of the King and uh, Alison Shebear as our Master Arms, maybe that'll just appease them. Ah, that's actually quite good because I just saw that John the Great John died and he was one of the people working against us. So that might work in our favour. I don't know who these people are, so I'm going to disband them because I don't need troops just sat there at the moment. I do, of course, need a new commander now because of John the Great John's death. Um... Arnulf is probably the best. Roger's a skilled commander. We'll have him as our commander. Mokoro has done the unthinkable and drank a glass of wildfire in the hopes of turning himself into a dragon. He's adamant the wildfire now coursing through his veins has given him the power like none before him and has truly transformed his mind and body into that of a living, breathing dragon, full of power and destruction. <sighs> this man is the maddest of all, so he's tried to make himself a dragon, which is an interesting thought. So someone else now wants to depose us, I think. Yeah, there's so many so many plots to try and just depose us instantly, which is really annoying. We're also going to try and end all plots automatically. Wow, okay, there is a lot of people supporting Lady Allison's plot to become to get a claim on the north, which is annoying. I have a problem with oh, trying to take hypo. Not too bothered at the moment. I think I'm going to wrap this episode now because this is getting very confusing. And I kind of want to have sort of a sit down and plan what we're going to do. Because if you have a look at this, pretty much the entirety of the North has been cut apart because some people are joining their wars, some people aren't. And it's getting very confusing. So, and of course we have all these factions trying to get rid of us. So we're going to wrap this episode up now and have a little think about things and leave it there. But a lot of hap has happened this episode. Of course, Ramsey uh, killed himself through, through depression. Our mother was beheaded, which started a war between the Trident and the Iron Throne. And we took the Lordship of the North, but immediately all sorts of problems going on. Everyone wants to depose us. Everyone wants to take our land. So we're going to wrap this episode up now. As I said, if you have enjoyed the video, please do feel free to leave a like. Uh, you know, it's not compulsory, but it is always appreciated when people do. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.